Hi folks, Warren here, aka Clef from the Moto User Forums, and I've got a brief video today in response to a question that came up on the Moto Forums from Coffee Grinder asking how to do a manually weighted bind in Moto. And I've got a nifty little trick to show you, and it's a tip that I don't think most people will be aware of. So let's just jump in and take a look at it. So I've got set up here uh, the, a cylinder and some joints, um, the typical little test rigging scene I often do for showing things. So let's start off by doing a typical bind. So I'll go into setup and we'll just go down here to uh, deformers and then we'll choose bind. And there's different types of binds, smooth, heat, rigid. I often, for my own stuff, start with a uh, heat as the default starting bind. And then I'll usually tweak the weights from there. So let's go ahead and do a heat bind. And as you can see, what happens is for the cylinder, if we look under lists for weight maps, we get uh, different weight maps associated with each of the skeleton joints. And then over here under deformers, we also get a normalizing folder and a series of influences which are connected with that, uh, wired up with that weight map for each of those um, influences and how they're going to be affected by that skeleton joint. Okay, so we get all that done for us with the bind. But the question that came up on the Moto forms is, what if I want to do uh, a bind, but I don't want any of this you know, default weighting that comes in from a heat bind or a smooth bind. What if you want to do all the weighting manually? And that's perfectly reasonable, especially if you're doing game type of characters, which can be lower poly, and you want to really carefully weight each of those vertices manually. So although, you know, for a lot of uh, film type of characters, it's cool starting with one of Moto's binds, and they, they are helpful, I'm going to show you a little trick that will get you all this stuff set up but leave the weight containers empty so you can manually do it. So I'm just going to reload this scene and then we'll get started. Okay, so I've reloaded the scene and as you can see when I select the cylinder we don't have any weight maps created yet and if I come over here to deformers there are no deformers created. So we're back to stage one before we did the bind. But this time we want to do a bind. We want it to set everything up for us but we don't want it to put any weights uh, in the weight maps. So here's where the little trick comes in, and I'm going to throw a curve at you, literally. Let's come over to the Model tab. I've got the Mesh selected, and I'm just going to create a curve. So I'm adding a curve into the, the Mesh layer. Doesn't, doesn't matter where. Now I'm going to come back to Setup, and we're going to do, let's go to Setup, and we're going to do a Bind as we normally would. So I'm going to do a Bind, and I'm going to select bind type of heat. You do need to use heat for this trick. And we'll say OK. And watch what happens. It's going to throw an error. And it says mesh topology error. Meshes containing curves or polygons with less than three vertices cannot be heat weighted. So because we added that curve into the mesh, it caused the heat bind to fail. However, here's the nifty part. If you check under the weight maps, it's still created the weight maps for each of the joints. We come over here to deformers, it's also set up our normalizing folder and created the influences for, um, for all of those joints and wired everything up for us. So we're all set up and ready to go now for doing uh, manual weighting. So if I want, I can just come in here, uh, select a weight map, and let's just throw some weights really quickly on this, uh, for example. Um, yeah. Let's just do some really quick waiting. And now we'll do the next one. And adjust some weights. And now we'll do the next one. And adjust the weights. Okay. So we've done all the, uh, the weight adjusting. Let's come out of setup mode, go into item mode. Uh, select the skeleton joint and let's see what happens now when we rotate. So there we go. We got joint one, uh, joint two, joint three. I can rotate that around. Um, so there we go. We're uh, we're all waiting now. Obviously, you want to adjust your weights manually, but but that's the point of this. Is you're going to go in here and uh, tweak all these weights however you want. And the final thing to do, of course, will be to get rid of that curve. 
So now we can just select that curve um, and delete it. And you're, you're good. So I hope this tip was useful and thanks for watching.